Welcome back to Movie Mojo. Today we are going to review the drama horror film, The Conjuring. If you like our content don't forget to like and subscribe. We upload multiple times daily. Spoilers ahead. With their five kids, Carolyn and Roger Perrin relocate to a rundown, old farmhouse in Harrisville, Rhode Island, in 1971. With the exception of the dog, who won't enter the house, the family settles in easily on the first day. One of the daughters discovers the barred entry to a cellar while the kids are playing the hide and clap game that night. The family heads to bed after Roger uses a match to investigate the basement. The dog starts barking outside, and one of the children feels someone pulling at her feet, which causes Carolyn to express alarm. In the morning, their dog Sadie is discovered dead, and Carolyn awakens with a strange bruise. The following several days are filled with strange occurrences, including doors opening and closing on their own and Carolyn hearing clapping when no one is there. Their little Cindy wanders into the oldest daughter's room at night and repeatedly hits her head against an old wardrobe. The culmination of the action is a ghost that resembles an elderly woman attacking the oldest daughter. Carolyn enlists the aid of renowned paranormal investigators Ed and Lorraine Warren to corroborate her fears. Lorraine feels that a certain evil spirit has taken a liking to the family. After doing a preliminary inquiry, they come to the conclusion that they should get involved and inform the parent family that the house might need an exorcism. This, however, cannot be done without additional proof and approval from the Catholic Church. Ed and Lorraine learn that Bathsheba, a suspected witch, lived in the house while doing historical study on it. Bathsheba's husband discovered her sacrificing their infant, so she climbed a nearby tree, cursed anybody who would take her land, and confessed her love for Satan before killing herself. The reports of several homicides and suicides that have occurred in houses that have since been constructed on the land come after this. With a police officer and another paranormal investigator, Drew, Ed and Lorraine return to the residence. In an effort to convince the Catholic Church that the house is inhabited by the spirit of Bathsheba, they install thermal cameras, alarm systems, and other security measures all over the building. The first night, nothing occurs, and the clocks do not strike three in the morning. They share breakfast the following morning, and Roger Perrin thanks Ed Warren for doing what he can to assist. Ed adds that every exorcism they perform steals a little bit of his wife Lorraine, but he assures them that they would do everything in their power to assist them. After another night of searching, nothing appears to occur until nightfall, when Cindy starts to sleepwalk once more. Thermal cameras see a temperature drop around her as she enters the wardrobe while ascending the stairs, and the door slams shut behind her. The others break into the space and discover a hidden doorway behind the wardrobe. After Cindy is removed from the room, Lorraine goes into the closet and tumbles through the floorboards into the cellar. She discovers Bathsheba's intention when she encounters the ghosts of others she has possessed, which was to take possession of mothers and use them to murder their offspring. After escaping the cellar, Lorraine and Ed go to Father Gordon with their proof to arrange an exorcism while the Perrin family seeks safety in a hotel. When Carolyn abruptly drives back to the house with two of the girls, their sense of comfort is disrupted. Rushing over to the house, Ed and Lorraine discover Carolyn attempting to knife one of her girls with a pair of scissors as Roger and the policemen struggle with her. When Lorraine reminds Ed that the priest is too far away to be called, Ed is compelled to perform the exorcism by himself. Ed continues the exorcism while the other people restrain the distressed Carolyn. For a split second, it appears as though Carolyn has stopped resisting, and the exorcism appears to have worked. Her chairs twist over abruptly, holding her upside down. As a few anxious seconds, she is released onto the ground as Ed yells at the demon to put her down. Ed quickly approaches Carolyn and orders the demon to depart from her body. She has already left, Carolyn adds as she slowly turns to face Ed. Drew later discovers April skulking in the kitchen's floorboards. He shouts that he discovered her down the cellar, which triggers the demon inside Carolyn, who races up the cellar stairs in search of April to finish the sacrifice. To prevent her from carrying it out, Ed, Lorraine, and Roger Warren run up the stairs after her. April is being pursued by the possessed Carolyn through a tunnel under the floors. At the same time as Carolyn grabs hold of April, Lorraine clutches Carolyn's head by reaching through the floor. She urges Carolyn to keep in mind how much her family means to her, as well as what she told her about how precious and important they are to her and how much she would miss them if she followed through with her plan. Carolyn appears to understand this because her face intensifies and her respiration begins to return to normal. She sets April down as the demonic presence in her eyes appears to vanish. The scene shifts to a now sunny morning as Carolyn is helped out of the front door. The bruises on her skin disappear as she passes the threshold of the door and enters the sunshine, and she reverts to her previous state. With their family, 
Roger and Carolyn celebrate the end of the ordeal in the front yard while hugging one another. The Warrens go back to their residence after driving the monster from the Perrin family. Ed Warren is seen walking inside his room filled with paranormal relics and things. He positions the house's old music box on a shelf's open area. As soon as Lorraine walks in, they both leave the room. The music box begins to play on its own after a little while, and the camera slowly pans back to it. The music gradually stops as the camera closes in on the mirror of the open music box. The credits start to roll as the screen goes black. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe.